In this lesson, we're going to look at doing other operations with our MongoDB database, such as adding new documents, updating existing documents, and deleting old ones, all through an Express.js application. So in the last video, we just created one endpoint that gets all of the data from our MongoDB collection. And in previous lessons, we've seen how to do other operations with our data inside of MongoDB. So in this tutorial, we'll just create different routes that will do those different operations. And we'll look at how to update and delete documents in just a second, but let's start with a more common operation, which is to create new documents. So I've set up a new route which accepts POST requests just on the route of the application. So we'll need to send our data via a POST method in order for this route to be triggered, which kind of follows the principle of REST in that the POST verb is for creating new resources. And inside that new route, I've got a reference to the collection where all our documents are being stored. And I've also got the body of the request, which we'll use to create our new document. So I'm going to call a function on the collection object, which is simply insert. And quite simply, I can pass the entire document to the insert function, and that should be enough to actually create a new document within our MongoDB collection. But I'll also send a response to the user just to output the response that MongoDB gives us back. And we might use that just to check whether the operation was successful. So to test this, I could actually write a web form to send the post data and then check the response when it comes back. But it's probably easier at this point just to test it with Postman which will allow us to send some data and then easily see the response as well. So in Postman, I'm going to send a request just to the base URL, and I'm going to pass in a JSON object which has two properties, name and password, and that should be what gets created as our document within the MongoDB collection. So let's hit send and see what happens. And if we scroll down to the bottom of Postman, we should see the response that's come back from MongoDB. But hopefully you can see in the returned response that we've got an OK status come back and MongoDB lets us know that there was one document inserted. So if we actually go back to our web browser and browse to the base URL, this will actually trigger the get route that we configured in the previous lesson. And as you can see at the bottom of the array that's returned, the new document that we just sent has been successfully inserted into the collection. So now that we can add new documents, we might actually want to pick out a certain individual document based on one of its properties, such as its ID value. So we can do this in Express by actually referencing the ID as a path parameter and then passing it into a function based off of the collection called find1. And the IDs inside of the MongoDB documents are actually prefixed with underscore, so underscore ID. So we'll try and match a document based off of the ID that's passed as a path parameter to a document that has that ID in the collection. And actually there's one other thing that we need to do to ensure that the IDs match and that's to use a special function that comes within the MongoDB library to ensure that the object ID is matched correctly. So we're actually going to import another function from the MongoDB library which is called object ID and wrap the path parameter that's provided in this particular route in that object ID function and that will just ensure that the ID that we're referencing will match what we have stored in the MongoDB collection. So let's head back to the browser and try that out. So here I've just grabbed the ID from the previous document that we created and passed that in as the path parameter and you can see just that one document is returned. So how about if we wanted to actually update some of the data in one of our documents? Well if we're just modifying one or two of the properties that are contained within the document we should use a patch request. So again, I've just created a new route that responds to patch requests and we have a path parameter of ID and then we need to have a forward slash name 
on the end of the root in order for this to be triggered. And similar to the find one function we used before, I'm going to generate that object ID so that we can actually find the document in the collection which we're intending to update. So the syntax for actually updating a collection requires us to use a special key which is $set. And inside of this internal object for the set key, we can provide any properties of the document a new value. So for example, in this instance, we can set the name to something different. And the property I'll update is name, hence why I put forward slash name in the actual root URL, and we'll grab the value of new name out of the request body. So let's try this request out in Postman. So I'm just going to use the object ID from the previous document and I'm going to set the name to Sarah. And if we check the response, again you'll see some of the information isn't that clear, but hopefully you can see that the status is okay and that there was one document modified. And we can check that by reloading the document in the browser. And as you can see, the previous name for this document has now been updated. Rather than modifying properties of a document, if we want to replace the whole thing, the best HTTP verb to use is put. So the MongoDB function that we call is actually replace one, and again we match it by an ID, and we can just pass in a total new document, which will replace the existing content. So let's try that one out in Postman. And here you can see I'm creating a totally new document, so nothing like that we used before for this particular object ID. And that is generally the meaning of put is to replace the previous object with some new data. So let's send and try it out. And again, we seem to have a good response from MongoDB. So let's check out that new document in the browser. So still with the same object ID, we've now got a completely different document stored in our collection. So one final thing that we might want to do with our collection data is to remove one of those documents. And the verb that we want to use for this to keep our functions in a RESTful format is the delete verb. And deleting a document is fairly straightforward. We just need to know what the ID is that we want to remove. Or we could match on any other property which is unique to the document but ID is generally a safe bet to use for these sort of things. So let's send the delete request via Postman. And of course we don't really need to send a body in this instance either, we just need to send the delete request to the specific URL with the object ID in there. And we seem to have a good status from our response. And let's check in the browser, that document should now be removed. So there we are back to our original documents in the collection, but now in our index roots we've got the ability to create new documents and update and delete existing documents.